Want to make some fun videos in Canva, making it look like you're typing something on a typewriter or that something is coming out of a printer? Well, in this Canva tutorial, I'm gonna show you just how to do that so you can create these really cute animations, so you can create some really cute animations in Canva, making type coming out of a typewriter or something printing out of a printer. So let's dive in and get creating. All right, so first of all, set up your page, whatever size page you want to work on and get yourself a background. So you've got some sort of background. So let's just put in background. Just pick something nice to get us started. And this will really set the tone for however you want it to look. So now let's get ourselves a typewriter. So we can type in type writer and go to graphics now you can go and find one of their typewriters or there's another way we can do this too so I'll show you both ways so what you want to do is find one that's face forward so front on so that you can make it look like the paper's coming out so you don't want it too angled like this one it's too angled and we don't want one that's on sideways we want one that's really forward facing so something like this one would be good but, you know, have a look through, find one that you like the style of. So things like this are really great because it's just forward facing, making it super simple because we just want that flat paper. So another way we can do it, if we don't want to use one of the ones already there, maybe you want something that's a bit unique that no one else has, is you can come into elements and under the AI image generator, generate your own. Now this is in the updated version of Canva, which rolls out to everyone in August, 2024. But if you've already updated your canvas, you've got the new one, or, it, or it's after August 2024, you will have this. But if it's before that time and you miss that rollout, you weren't one of the first 1 million people to get this new update, you may not have that yet. So you can just use the elements already there. But this is a really fun way to have something that's unique that not everyone else has. So what you want to do here is go to that middle one, graphics. Now you can choose your style. So we can press see all here and look at all the different styles. So you can think, well, what style do I want my typewriter to look like? So say we want a real vintagey style. So we can put in front facing type writer. Now you can always give it even more. So let's say we want one that's light blue. So maybe we could add that light blue front facing typewriter. And now we're going to generate images and see what it creates for us. So this is really cool because then you get something unique that not everybody else has. And this is also handy too if you just want to create something that you can't find in Elements. You can give it a prompt and get what you want. All right, so as you can see, sometimes it's not going to work out perfectly either. So here, because it's vintage, it's decided to go for these vintage colors rather than the blue we asked for, and it didn't make it front facing. So do keep in mind that it may not always be perfect. So maybe we will say, well, that didn't quite work out. Let's try the Rhizograph version instead because it's still got a vintagey feel to it. And let's try again using that. So sometimes you will have to redo things if it's not giving you exactly what you want. Don't think that this is perfect and you'll get the exact thing you're after every time. Sometimes you have to tweak your prompt, tweak the style, or even just tell it to generate again until you get what you're after. So let's try again and see what we get. So this is looking a bit more like what we were after now. So as you can see, we've got some more that are more front facing and we've got the blue that we were after. And it's got that vintagey style. So maybe we might go this one actually. So we can put that on our page now. And it's definitely got that cool feel that I was looking for, a bit of a vintagey arty type feel and the blue. So that's really cool. So the next thing we want is our paper. So we're going to go to elements again, and we're going to go grab a square to be our paper. Now, if your image has a piece of paper already in it, then you're going to want to start at the size that paper is. If yours doesn't, then you can make it as low down as you'd like to begin. So we're going to make it cover that. So that way we don't see that thing underneath. We're going to choose the color of our paper. So let's say we just want a white piece of paper for this. Now we want to choose here the thumbnail view so you can actually see all your slides as you're animating. So we're going to put in our first one and we're going to add our first bit of text. So we grab a bit of text. And we're going to put a left align because when we write something with a typewriter, it starts left aligned. So you're going to fit it in there. And then you're going to want to choose a typewriter font. So if we go to see all in fonts and we type in type 
typewriter. It's going to give us a different typewriter font so you can find one that you like the style of. So I think this one especially really suits the style of typewriter I've got here. So depending on what kind of typewriter you have too, you might want something that's a bit more clean, a bit more messy. Well, these ones tier two are good. So these ones are pro, so not everyone would have access to them. But you can play around and find the font that you really like the style of. Now we're going to put in our first line of text. So we think about it as you write with a typewriter, you write one whole line, you put the paper up, then you write the next line. So the first thing we want to do is that first line. So we want to make sure it fits. So if you decide to make it sentences, so it's easy for people to read as it comes up, you want to adjust the size so that it goes in there. So now we're going to animate that text to look like it's being typed on. So we're going to go to animate. So make sure you click on the text, animate, and then you're going to choose here typewriter. So it looks like it's writing on and we only want it to happen on enter. So only once and you can play with the speed too. So if you want it to speed up a bit and write a bit quicker, you can do that. Right, so now we want our next slides. So we're going to duplicate this page so it stays the same. But now we're going to rise this up so it looks like it's going up. And we're going to move our text up too. So now we can add our next piece of text. You may just want to duplicate that text and then write your next line. And again, we want to make sure that we have that animation on it. So because I duplicated it, it held that animation, which is handy because you're not having to redo it every time. And we go again. So now we go duplicate page. We can do our next line in there and we want to pull this up. Remove all these up again so it looks like it's all going up. And you basically want to do this again and again until you've got all the text that you want in there. So it really depends on what you're writing, what this is about, how much text you want to happen. So this is really up to you what you do with this. If you want something just very quick and just a few lines, if you want something a little bit longer, keep in mind that we don't want to do pages and pages because we're just making one page that goes up and up. So you don't want anything too long, really. You want to keep it just to a few lines. So this can be something great if you want to advertise something, if you want to send some sort of message, it'd just be something really short and sweet. So now we've got in our full line. So we can just double check it, make sure the page is definitely going up. Yes, that looks good. So now we're going to click in between to add transition and we want to choose match and move. So we're going to go in between each of these, match and move. And now we can watch it through. So you can notice speed now as you watch it through, you can notice, do I need to speed this up? So depending on, you know, how fast you made your type come and all those sort of things, you might think, OK, this is looking good, but maybe we need to speed it up a little. It's going a little bit slow. So what we can do to do that is we can see down the bottom here, it's got duration. And we've got timing, so we want to shorten that. So let's go to three and a half and we want to do apply to all so that all pages are the same speed. And now we can watch it again. So that was a little bit better. As you can see, there's a little bit of gap after the typing. So you want to sort of adjust it. So as soon as that typing is finished, it goes up a line. As soon as that line's finished, it goes up a line. So you'll want to play around with that to get it just right. So sometimes this can take a little fiddling, but these little details can make a difference in how good that final thing looks. So that's looking a little bit better now. We've sped it up a little bit. Also, too, if you realize the whole thing just feels slow, you can always go back and speed up the actual typing of the text, too, if you want that to go faster. So now let's apply this same technique to a printer. So this looks really great for a typewriter, making it look like types coming out. But we could do the same thing for something a little bit more modern, a printer or even a fax machine if you wanted. So instead of the typewriter, now we can try and get a printer. Now, again, you want something forward facing. You don't want these angled ones because you can't really do that very easily. So we could maybe use something like this. But as you can see, the, the perspective of it is a little bit off. We really want it so that the page is just flat. So something like this. All right, so let's go with this one. And I put in a new background just to give this one a new look. And we can, again, go back to Elements. And we're going to get a white piece of paper. So let's say if we want it to print out the top. 
you can go here to do that and again cover over any paper that's already there now if you wanted it to print down the bottom here as you can see there's a perspective issue and then you'd have to angle the text too so that wouldn't quite work as well we really want to be printing from the top so some printers do come out the top, so we're just going to make it look like this one does. So we'll say the paper feeds in the bottom and comes out the top. So again, very similar to the typewriter, we're then going to add our text. So this time you want whatever font you want because well, a printer can print any kind of font. So left align your text and then choose whatever font you want. Now too, because this is a printer, we could always go color as well. We don't have to feel restricted by black. It's totally up to you. So we're going to put in our text, go to animate, and it's up to you how you want this text to appear. So you could do the typewriting effect. So it's coming on like that. But remember, this isn't a typewriter, so it doesn't have to come on like that. You can choose another style that you want it to appear as. So we can play around here and choose a style that we think would work well. So obviously we don't want it to tumble on or anything like that. Maybe we could make it blur on or f maybe fade on as if it's just the inks appearing. So just sort of think about what kind of feel you want it to have, like maybe baseline even, like it's just coming up or fade. So obviously with the typewriter, you really want it to look tight with the printer is a little bit more flexible in how you make that look. So again, just like the typewriter one, we want to duplicate this over and over and add each line and move our page up. Now, because this is a printer, you can add more than just text too. You could always add some images as well. And let's add an image as well this time for fun. So let's say our event was for a picnic. So we're gonna add a little picture to give people a clue. And of course you wanna make sure that animates too, so that appears, maybe fades. All right, so then you'd want to go through each one in between them and do the match and move. So our mine stayed there because I've gone and reused the pages from earlier. And we also want to go to duration and make sure that they all have the same duration on them. Now let's watch it through and see how this looks. So that looks pretty cool, like it's typing. Maybe that was a little slow. We could probably speed that one up even more. And if you wanted to as a video, you can even add sound effects. So you're going to go into Elements, Audio, See All. Let's type in Printer. And see here we've got that printer noise. So something like that could be very cool to add that sound effect. As you can see, these are pro though. Let's just test that out. That's pretty cool having that sound effect in there. So that could be really, really fun if you want to have this printer effect and have that sound. Now let's try that with the typewriter too. Let's see if there's a typewriter sound that we could use. Yes. So with the typewriter one, you could add that. So I'm just going to put it on this just so you can hear it. So if you had a typewriter, it would have that typewriter noise. So that would really add a cool element to it if you're sharing this as a video, adding that sound effect too. And that really puts it all together and makes it really fun. So have fun with this, give it a go and get creative. Have fun creating typewriter or printing animations. And if you'd like to learn more about using Canva, about graphic design and about branding, make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time.